This just came yesterday. It is a DSO-138 oscilloscope and they come in either a kit or a uh, pre-assembled. I got mine pre-assembled uh, and all I can say is, oh wow, I mean I really wish I'd had something like this when I was learning electronics in high school. Back then even a used scope, you couldn't find them, but a used scope would cost a huge amount of money. So I didn't get my first scope until I was 30 some years old. This is amazing because it'll do a lot of the same stuff my five six hundred dollar scope will do okay so let's talk about the big picture we'll zoom in and we'll go from there this is a uh, nine volts input some of them run on five to twelve uh of course supply whatever yours requires this is a probe it does not come with a probe it comes with a set of alligator clips do yourself a favor get a probe <laughs> yes and I have it hooked up to the uh, test output and that's what we're seeing running over here and then the other end of the probe goes to the input of the oscilloscope. Okay so now let's do that zooming in and we'll talk about in detail what all the rest of the stuff around here is doing for us. Part one of our walk around let's uh, talk about well let's start with a case. I got a case with it and no I I wouldn't do that again. The case is a waste of time. It's terrible. Uh, I just used some parts of the case to to create a little uh, holder for it and the rest of it is I don't know get recycled somewhere. That's uh, the case. It does not come with a manual. The uh, yeah this is kind of like an adventure game so that's one of the drawbacks is I've had to get online and kind of scrounge information and then trial and error so yeah uh, Wish they had a manual for it, but they don't, so. Okay, uh, we have a ground AC-DC switch, so nothing coming in on the ground. Uh, DC looks a lot like the AC. Uh, we have a uh, voltage setting, so 1 volt, 0.1 volts, 10 millivolts. And then over here we have a 5X switch, a uh, 2X switch, and a 1X switch. Let's see, moving on around, make sure I keep this in camera. This is a, a communications port for a UART. This is a standard USB for uh, loading software. Haven't seen any software. It says it's version 1.5. Then we have a, uh, looks like a serial communication port and then a trigger light. Let's get this back centered again. Um, we have a reset button, so we punch that and, and uh, resets the uh, data output then we have over here a select button a uh, minus plus and an OK the top button has three different functions we've already mentioned one I believe a long press will turn on and off the detailed information right there a short press does the run stop function right there and also, it is the OK button, so when it's in the menu mode, you can hit OK to approve of whatever you selected. Now, speaking of selection, let's go down here to the Select button. And when I press it the first time, this little arrow right there with a 1 on it, it's going to turn blue. And that is our probe zero point. And we can change that up and down. Yeah, OK. So you can either, most of these you can either press and hold or press once to get it to move it a small amount. Okay, one more press and I believe this is the probe. I haven't found good information on this but I believe this is the probe information. It's either 200 millivolts or 2 volts. And next we see the time scale changed to 500 microseconds and this one you have to poke uh, multiple times so it goes down as far as 10 microseconds and I believe it goes up to 5 500 seconds rather so right there let's put it back to something a little more usable whoops let's put it back to 500 okay if we press it again this little arrow right there turned blue and that is our trigger level and if we get the trigger too far out of the out of the wave then the wave becomes unstable it's not triggering properly so we'll put that back. If we press select again, it'll go up here to auto. We can choose normal or single. And when we're in single, it came down here and says stop. So we have to put it back in auto. We'll press this once and we'll put it back in the run mode. Now we press select again and this little symbol right there turned 
blue and it took me a long time to figure that out but what that is is that's trigger rising trigger falling so if we do that there's rising and falling okay select uh, now we are uh, up to the duty cycle and we can change this most of these you have to be in run mode to change so if it doesn't if it doesn't want to move check to make sure you're in run mode okay so that's changing the duty cycle press it again we'll change the PWM and that'll go up and down as needed and if we press it again that's uh, pretty much it we're out of uh, our options Wow, I really wish I had one of these when I was learning electronics. Well, I hope you found this little tour interesting and helpful in your uh, home electronics work.